Hi hey ladies, it's Belinda again, back with another mini album. Uh, this, if you've seen my um, Once Upon a Time mini video, this was the album that I showed in that video. And when I got to the very end of the video, I showed you a stack of papers or pages that I had made to go in this. I was so ambitious and uh, excited about working with this paper that I made twice as many pages than I would need for a regular size mini. So if I would used it, it would have been about 12 inches high. So I told you I would show you when I used the other pages, and I have that mini done now. And this is that mini. Um, the mini is bound on the sides just with cording, and it has this um, really pretty little uh, embellishment here. They come in a pack. Uh, like this, it's pink paisley, and you can, um, it says paint it, ink it, mist it, and make it unique. So I just painted this with a ranger dauber, and I, it looks like wood. I love the way it came out. Uh, this album has a little tassel on it with a uh, Roman coin, and I used my Tim Holtz dies on a lot of the pages in here. I'll try to point them out. This little page, this short little page here has that, uh, cut with that Tim Holtz Holt die. Uh, it's got a Prima flower, and this this strap right here that says Made in Italy came from uh, my purse that I bought over there. So I saved it, and I thought it would come in handy, and I was right, it did. So, um, and then this little finding right here, I got at a little flea market when I was over in Florence, Italy. So to open the album, you just um, lift up on that leather strap, and it's attached with the Tim Holtz knob. And it's got a lot of yummy lace on this front page, just really to kind of cover all the whatnots on the side of the album. So the first short little page, with that pretty lace, has just a little tiny pocket right here, and I just tuck a little journaling tag in there, because I'm going to write notes to myself about why I made this album, and what, what its purpose is. The first page, if the first pocket is um, a little pocket with an epoxy sticker on it says life is you know, Italy is a dream that keeps returning for the rest of your life. And in this little pocket are just a couple of tags. Uh, the back of this tag has the back of the label of um, my favorite wine when I was over there. And you'll see the rest of the label a little further back in the book. There's room for a photo here. There's room for a photo mat here. Um, I don't know if you can pick up that metallic dragonfly down there. I just love that. And there's a little pocket between the paper and the chipboard for a tag. On this page, I have some big tags in here, just under a piece of ribbon. There's room for a big journaling, uh, a big, excuse me, a big photo uh, right there. And this tag says Journey. And then this one, I tried the Velma technique on this flower. It was one of the Prima Artful Collage flowers. Um, and then I used a watermark, Versamark ink, so it was kind of an iridescent -y color. And then I put the, the ultra thick UD over the top of it to give it that really pretty glaze. I love that flower. This page is, is a chipboard frame that I've decorated. It's one of the pictures I took while I was over there, so it's already got a real picture in it. And then a uh, spot for journaling on the back. And then on this side, it's this is an envelope page, so the envelope is, is folded and going this way. And there's some tags back here. So this tag um, is open right behind the bear. You can slide it to paper, notes, or a photo in there. And the same right here. You just tuck something right behind her wings. And these tags come out from the side. These two charms came from Oriental Trading Company. They are absolutely adorable. I love that assortment that I got. It was so reasonably priced, and they're they're not flimsy, um, and they make real. They're just the perfect size to make a little tab off the back of my tags, or the top of my tags. So I really like them. And in the assortment, you get silver or gold. Okay. This page has um, a little metal pocket and a couple of tags that I brought, bought from a stationery store while I was in Italy. And then 
extra a couple of tags here. Oops, and that one grabbed onto my embellishment. Room for photos behind the tags. The same on this side. This is um, an acetate uh, flourish, and then there are tags that are tucked behind it. And down here is a little pocket, and there are three tags for that side. This is an envelope pocket. Um, these are buttons that I attached with some brads with, brads with some bling, bling on them. Gosh, that's a tongue twister. Brads with bling and a room for a photo there. And then when you open the card or open the envelope, um, just a little sticker and a tag in the pocket right here. It says these are the days. And in this little pocket, is a piece of chipboard that I glimmer missed it on the back and ran it through my embosser and it fits right in that little pocket. And then this one, um, I cut this piece of paper off of my with my Cricut and then all of these little flowers, I don't know what I'll use them for, but I just thought they were so cute. I can maybe write little words. Um, I can journal on the back, I can attach a little photo, but they just tuck right into the slots here. Just love how that little page finished up. So cute. And this is the back of, an, of that envelope page. There's the front of my favorite wine, my label. And room for journaling is really good. Room for more tags in that pocket. On this page, there's little tag pockets. And I just can slide in underneath each end. And then here's the little surprise. Underneath here are three little windows. You can put little small pictures in. On this side, we've got a couple more tags and room for a picture. This one says sights and sounds in a pocket and a couple of tags. I love the way this one came out. It has a little brad in the center and a little piece of metal embellishment that says travel. This page has a couple of tags. Uh, it's also got a piece, it's got a wax impression that I made using um, a wax embossing kit that I bought over there. So I don't know if you can see that. It's really pretty metallic and shiny. And then there's a piece of acetate here that makes the pocket. And these are the tags for this page. And these two little tags just slide behind the flourish. It says imagine if, and this one says once upon a time. And this is my favorite page in the book. It's also the last page. That's the binding clasp right there, so I'm going to swing that out of the way. It's on a hinge. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I wanted to finish off with some of that lace. I just love that lace. And um, a tassel. And then if you pull the tassel, the tag slides out from the top and the bottom. I've seen a video on this on YouTube. Thank you, whoever did the video or the tutorial. Um, this is my favorite page I think I've ever made, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without that help on YouTube. So thank you, thank you.